Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome to my channel. Today is my tea time with Sip Spy, so stay tuned. So if you're wondering why I sound weird, it's because I do. <laughs> when I'm filming this, I actually have the flu. Huh, that rhymes. <laughs> Anyway, um, I needed to get this filmed and I couldn't wait any longer. So you're getting me in my PJs with no makeup and sounding funky. But <laughs> like I said, I needed to get this video done. I actually have two Sips by boxes, the November and the December box. Because there was some kind of glitch, the November box didn't get sent until way late and I think the December box came like within a week of that one and I think they both arrived right around the time that it was time for us to go on our cruise and all that stuff so I'm just now getting to it I came home from the cruise with the flu <laughs> okay so let's open the first box opening it up it looks like this There's a little gift card inside. It's a $15 gift card. It says, uh, this gift card will apply $15 toward a first time Sips by subscription for one month free of tea just for you. So it says here on another card, we're so grateful for the community of tea lovers we're building here and we want to spread the love. Share this gift card with a friend who hasn't tried Sips by yet and they'll receive their first Sips by box free cool okay so I've got my November teas here and it says made for Melanie and the first tea is the one that I want to try it is pumpkin muffin by Savoy Tea Company maybe drinking a little tea will help my throat and help me sound a little bit better but this is what this one looks like it's a loose tea and they always give you like these little disposable tea bags you can use, which is cool. Ooh, that smells really good. So this is a high caffeine tea. It says, take a sip of this tea and you'll be transported to a pumpkin patch, sitting on a giant pumpkin, eating a pumpkin muffin. It's your own little pumpkin world in a cup of tea. So we have a little bag here with these super cute little disposable tea bags. And I got my measuring spoon. It says one teaspoon for an eight ounce cup. You pull the little drawstring. And it says to let it steep for five minutes. Okay, while that's going, I wanted to talk about the book I recommend with this tea. So this is not a book that I have read or that I own, but I've heard so many people raving about this and said it's so cute. And it's light and fluffy and fun and makes you feel like you're in the pumpkin patch. And that is Pumpkin Heads by Rainbow Rowl. I think I'll just insert a picture here. It's a graphic novel about the last year that these kids are going to be working in this pumpkin patch because the next year they're going off to college. And I thought that was the perfect one to use for this. Okay, the next tea we have is Fruit and Herb, Rosehip Hibiscus and Cherry by Ahmed T. London. And we have four individual bags of this. And this is a caffeine-free tea. It says, Ahmed Tea is a British family business with a long tradition. They supply tea for the royal collection, including Buckingham Palace. So the book I picked for this is a little bit of a magical realism book. The uh, Rosehip Hibiscus and Cherry made me think of one of the concoctions that the Fen 
Fernway Women in Summer of Salt by Katrina Leno would concoct because the uh, Fernway women, they all have this kind of special ability, some kind of magical ability. And they're on this island called By the Sea. And there's apparently this 300 year old bird that comes to the island every year. And tourists flock to the island just to see this bird. And for some reason, the bird doesn't show up this year. And where everybody seemed to be fine with the Fernway women before, now they're starting to get suspicious of them and blaming them for the bird not being there this year. Sorry if the angle changed, but my battery died. And turns out that the backup battery that I grabbed, um, that battery is also on the low side. So hopefully I can get enough charge on the other one while using this one. I may have to switch out again. But I got to thinking, these two boxes give me very much Christmassy vibes because we got November and December, you know, Thanksgiving and Christmas. So I decided that the book for this giveaway would be My True Love Gave to Me, edited by Stephanie Perkins. And it's, by, it's a collection of Christmassy short stories by Holly Black, Allie Carter, Matt De La Pena, Gail Foreman, Jenny Hahn, David Leviathan, Kelly Link, Mira McIntyre, Stephanie Perkins, Rainbow Rowell, Lainey Taylor, and Kirsten White. And I've also gotten this one signed by that Stephanie Perkins. And if I remember correctly, that's Jenny Hahn. Also, it's been at least five minutes, so we're going to check out our pumpkin muffin tea. Hmm, it's not as strong as I thought it would be. It's actually pretty weaker tea. Good though but it like I said it tastes on the weaker side so either you could put more tea in the little pouch or maybe let it steep longer so this battery is already flashing at me so I'm going to stop this for a moment give that battery a second to cha charge and, and then I'll be right back okay hopefully this battery will last me a little while <laughs> Okay, on to the next tea. Okay, so the next tea we have here is white tea with apple and holiday spice by The Steeping Room. Here we go. This is a low caffeine tea, a clean tasting leafy white tea featuring apple, cranberry, and cinnamon, perfect as a warming winter treat and fantastic hot or iced. And I thought for this one, the perfect book would be 10 Blind Dates by Ashley Elston. I recently read this, gave it four stars. It's super cute. It's about a girl who overhears her boyfriend talking about wanting to dump her. So they break up. She goes to stay with her grandmother and her grandmother, as well as all of her other family members, are all trying to set her up on these different blind dates. Um for the entire Christmas holiday. Um, the only day she gets off from a blind date is the 24th and 25th, and she gets like one uh, get out of date free card. <laughs> it's super cute. It's a lot of fun. I highly recommend it. Also, I absolutely love the family aspect in it because it's just, it's so wholesome. Also, it's snowing outside right now, which is just awesome. <laughs> it just started snowing. Okay, the last tea for this box is the Organic Blueberry Jam by David's Tea. This is another loose tea. Sounds yummy. This is a medium caffeine. This Ode to the Blueberry is a, per is a perfect with your morning toast. Probably goes perfect with your morning toast. 
Long before the superfood era, blueberries were called starberries and renowned for their healing properties. This is probably going to be really yummy. I'm still sipping on this uh, pumpkin muffin tea. And it's okay. It's not my favorite. It's not terrible. But like I said, it's a really weak flavored tea. And then there's this little card for Ahmed tea. Okay. Oh, and the book for the blueberry jam. Well, the book that this one made me think of was Bloom by Kevin Panetta and Savannah Gauchino. This is a super cute graphic novel. For one, it's all blue, which is also why I thought of it because of the blueberries. But also, our main character, well, both of them really, work in a bakery. And, oh gosh, what's their names? Ari and Hector. Ari's family runs a bakery. And Ari feels like he's outgrown the bakery. And he wants to move into an apartment with his bandmates and travel and be a rock and roll star and so he finds a replacement for himself and he finds Hector and as he's training Hector well he likes Hector and he ends up deciding that maybe he really does like the bakery after all and it's super cute I love this I think I gave this it was either four stars or five stars I really enjoyed this. Okay, now on to the December box. So, again, I got another $15 gift card that I can give to somebody. I think I know who I'm going to give these to. Okay, so the first tea in this box, let me find it, is another pumpkin one. This is Pumpkin Spice by the Republic of Tea. And these are individual tea bags. We have four of them. This is High Caffeine. It says, cozy up with this blend of black tea and fall spices. Energizing black tea wards off the chill of the fall season. And a splash of milk transforms this tea into pumpkin pie in a cup. Yum. So, I'll try this one out too. Just not right this second. But the one I picked for this because... Well, the other one I thought of as sweet, kind of pumpkin-y, because it was pumpkin muffin. And this one was pumpkin spice, so I thought something a little spicier. And I went with Pumpkin Picking with Murder by Oralee Wallace. And this is about a woman named Erica Bloom who's visiting her hometown and getting better acquainted with the local sheriff. And... Uh, her hometown is Otter Lake, New Hampshire, and there the fall festival is a big deal with a Ferris wheel, corn maze, caramel apples, and pumpkin pies, even a tunnel of love. And when they go through the tunnel of love, one of the passengers doesn't make it out alive. It's an elderly man named Mr. Ma Masterson, and... The person that's with him in the swan boat is not his wife, but it is Erica Bloom's Aunt Tweety. So Erica and her best friend are now trying to investigate what happened to save Aunt Tweety. Okay, next up we have Dragon Eye Oolong Tea. And this is by Revolution. And these are individual tea bags as well. This is medium caffeine. Dragon Eye Oolong begins with the finest quality Oolong tea available. This smooth, well rounded elixir blends smoky Chinese Oolong with safflower, peach, and apricots. And this one, the first thing I thought of when I thought about a book with dragons, <laughs> which there's several of them, I believe, that I have, but the first one that came to mind was Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. We've got a dragon right there on the cover. And as 
part of the competition they have to retrieve the dragon egg from the dragon and that's what I thought of when I thought of this okay next is huh it's in this interesting little drawstring thing it's a blueberry I see by tea drops okay so these they don't actually come in um, tea bags you actually put the the whole tea thing into your water and I guess it dissolves out and they're shaped like different things like these are shaped like hearts it looks like there's three of them in there very cute little bag anyway this is a low caffeine tea this breezy and light but vibrant and fun tea is great hot or iced tea drops allow you to experience the flavor and benefits of loose leaf tea without the waste or mess of steeping and when i thought of light and breezy but vibrant and fun I thought of Sunny Rolls the Dice by Jennifer L. Holm and Matthew Holm. Um, I actually just recently sent this to Cody over at Cody's Book Corner because I thought she would absolutely love this. It is about a middle grade girl and she is trying to find her way in the world of middle grade where her best friend is all about boys and fashion. She's finding that she really fits more with the kids that want to play D and D, and she falls in love with Dungeons and Dragons and that whole world. And it's there's so much like Dungeons and Dragons reference in here, and it's it's so stinking cute. And I have never played Dungeons and Dragons, but this made me want to play it, and it's super cute. Okay, the last tea in this box is the Blue Lady Black by Zest Tea. And these are also individual sachets. This says it's a coffee level caffeine. That's the first time I've seen that one on here. Get ready for a jolt. Zest is the tea industry's answer to a coffee level cuppa. Try it hot or chilled. It says ingredients, flowery orange peacock black tea, tea extract, hibiscus, natural passion fruit, fruit flavor, orange peel, corn flower petals, and natural lemon flavor. Oh, this apparently also won the 2015 World Expo Tea Best New Product. So the book that I picked with this, because it was like Blue Lady Black, the first thing I thought of was like vampires. And for that, I chose Blue Bloods by Melissa De La Cruz. These are about like the original vampires that came over to the United States and they kind of um, became high society and their vampire status kind of kept a secret. And this is a huge series. Okay, so those are all of the teas, and I think since this whole thing was about teas and matching up books, we'll say that the keyword for this video is tea. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click that subscribe button down below. And until next time, remember to always be completely you. Bye!